So live streaming virtual concerts has become a viable way for musicians to make money, especially during this pandemic. So in this video, I'm going to give you seven tips to ensure that you make the most money out of your live streams while also connecting with your audience. So let's get to it. Yo, what's good? And welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button. So by now you've seen quite a few musicians and DJs and such doing concerts on their live streams. And this has become a really solid way to make some extra money while we are in this pandemic and none of us musicians are really working like we normally would be working. But I'm seeing a lot of musicians and such completely botch this opportunity to not only maximize the profits that they're making from their live stream and, you know, connect with their fans, but also maximize their exposure. And maybe you've been thinking about doing a virtual concert or a live stream concert and you're just wondering what's the best way to do it. And that's really cool because these seven tips that I'm about to reveal to you, if implemented properly, will definitely help you get the most out of your live streams. And they can be used no matter what instrument you play or if you sing or whatever your talent is that you're planning on live streaming online. All right, so right before we get into the tips, I wanna let you know about my free ebook that you can download. Now, this ebook will give you 10 tips to allow you to make 10 times more money as a musician. And it's completely free and you'll see it in the download description. So make sure you go download that ebook. All right, so let's get to the tips. And these tips are in order of what I think are the most important with the last one being the most important. So make sure you stick around for the very last tip. All right, so tip number one is you have to promote first. You have to promote your live stream videos and concerts first before you do them. You need to make it an event that people are excited to attend and you need to build some momentum about the event before it happens. You can't just show up and, you know, just start live streaming on your phone or whatever and sit down and play and expect people to show up and be interested in what you're doing. You have to build some momentum and some excitement where people will show up with some sort of an expectation of what they're gonna get out of your live stream. And there's lots of tools that you can use to promote your event. Like, you know, you need to make a flyer. You can go to a service like canva.com, which is a free service. They also have a paid part of it, but there's a free service from it where you can just make a flyer for free and post it on your social media. And, you know, with the date and all of that kind of stuff and with the time that you're going to play, that builds some expectation with what people are going to get out of your event. And that makes it into a more solid event. It makes it seem like it's more official than you just showing up randomly and starting the live stream button. All right, so tip number two is you gotta make sure that your live stream video and audio is clean and crisp and clear and that people can see and hear you. Now this is really, really important for us musicians. We want what we do to be heard in the best way. So there are some ways that you can, you know, do your live streams and have it heard in the best way. And if you're interested, I did a training video on a software called OBS, which allows you to hook microphones and keyboards and guitars and all of that kind of stuff directly into your computer and live stream it so people can hear that direct sound in the best way. And I'll link that to the description of this video as well. But as far as your video, you need to do things like remove distractions. You need to have a clean background and your your background needs to be conducive to what you're doing. You don't need to have, you know, a bunch of kids running around and things like that. Again, unless they're a part of something that you're presenting in your live stream, but remove kids and pets and stuff like that. You don't want your big dog to be running up while you're singing or playing on your live stream. That's just distracting to people. And you want people to be tuned into what you're doing. So you need to remove all of those distractions. You need to give them the same attention that you want them to give you, which is undivided. All right, so on to tip number three. You need to give only two options at most for payment options for people to give you tips. Now, this is really important because I see a lot of musicians leaving all of these options for people to give them tips. And it seems like it's a productive thing to do, but it's actually counterproductive because it gives people too many options. People are leaving options like Cash App and Zelle and Venmo and all of these options in which people are gonna have to choose from. And you need to narrow those options down so people only have a couple of options to select from. 
And also one of the problems with this is that with some of these services like Zelle, you have to give out your personal information like your phone number or your email address. So all of those things are personal information, you know, items that you don't want to give out necessarily on your live streams. And another problem with this, which I'll mention in the next tip, is that when you have to mention these things, it takes too long to mention them. You're listing like four or five payment options and then you got to give out your phone number and your email address and all of that kind of stuff. And guess what? That takes away from the performance time and from the connection with the people that you're trying to make on your video. So make sure you're only giving two options at most for people to give you tips in your live streams. Now tip number four is that you need to actually mention that you are accepting tips and mention it often. Now I can't stress this enough, this is very important as well. People are coming on and off your live streams at any given time. Some people you know, may be there for a certain period of time, they may get distracted and do something else and then they may come back on and then you have other people that get on late and all of this kind of stuff and these people may not have heard you the first time you said, hey, I'm accepting tips on my PayPal or on my cash app or whatever the case may be. So you need to mention it often. Not to mention that people's attention spans and such are just kind of short these days. So mentioning it one time, you know, while they were, you know, listening to you play, you know, 15 minutes ago, they actually may forget. They just get distracted and forget about it. And there are people who genuinely want to give to you. You just need to remind them and you need to let them know that you're accepting it and you need to let them know often. All right, so on to tip number five. And tip number five is you need to connect with your audience. This is extremely important. You need to connect with your audience. Again, you need to treat your live streams as if you were performing in front of people who have come to watch you play or perform. You need to treat it as such and you need to build this connection with them. You need to not allow the technology and the distance, you know, from a screen to halter or you know impede that connection that you would normally make with people you need to be commanding attention and building that energy with people so that they connect with you one of the mistakes that i'm seeing a lot of musicians and performers do is that they just sit and play they put the camera on them and they just sit and play there's no interaction other than you know hey calling people's names out you know every now and then hey such and such larry you're on here hey chris you're on here such and such and then they go back to playing. And that's not really building a connection. You need to do things, you need to talk to your audience. You need to take time between your songs and all of this kind of stuff to actually connect with them and say something meaningful and have them talk back to you. So you definitely need to be connecting with your audience on your live streams. Now tip number six is one of my favorite ones and it's also one of the most important ones. Tip number six is that you need to be telling stories on your live streams. Now, I just mentioned in the last tip that you need to be connecting with your audience and stories is the way to do it. You need to be telling stories because stories are the way that we you know, typically connect with each other. We learn each other through our stories. Your personal story about what you are and about what you do and who you are and all of this kind of stuff is what helps people connect to you and what you do as an artist. So you need to be telling these stories. Now, music in and of itself is very powerful and it's very powerful in connecting with people. But when you add a story to your music and what you do, you have like a superpower at that point. You become like the Superman of, you know, performing and that allows people to get to know you and you get to know them and you connect with them. So telling stories is the best way to do this when you're on your live streams. You can tell stories about how you became an artist, you know, some struggles that you had to get to where you are today, some important moments or, you know, some really you know, controversial moments or anything like that in your life that has happened that has allowed you to get to the point you are where you're performing on the particular live stream. So definitely make sure you're using stories to connect with people in your live streams. Now tip number seven is the most important because without this tip, literally none of everything else matters. You need to have a plan with your live streams. Now, what do I mean by this? You need to have a plan, a set list of the songs that you're going to do just as you would if you got a call from, you know, this company or whatever that wanted you to perform at their company and show up live. You would have a set list of songs that you're going to perform in the order that you're going to perform them in. You have this big, you know, array of people that have come to listen to you perform and play and sing or whatever it is that you do. And in that you need to have it planned out the way that you're going to do it. 
Now, I should say about this that you don't necessarily always have to stick exactly to a plan, but you need to at least have an outline. These are the songs I'm gonna do. These are the times I'm gonna mention, you know, my payment options for my tips. This is where I'm gonna tell a story. I'm gonna connect a story to this particular song. You need to have all of that planned out before you start your live streams. It's really easy, just take out a Word document or you know whatever your favorite app of notes, app of choice is, and write down these things so that you have a specific plan in which you're gonna do this. So you literally need to be treating this as if you know somebody was paying you you know, a thousand bucks to come and play for a specific amount of time at their event. So these are the seven tips that you absolutely need to be using in your live stream. So make sure you incorporate them in your next live stream concert. But I also wanna know what are some of the tips that you are incorporating in your live stream videos that are productive and that allow you to connect with your audience and maybe allows you to, you know, get paid a few more tips than what you normally would be getting otherwise jump down in the comments and leave some of those tips so that we know and we can incorporate them in our next live streams. Also, definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Go hit that subscribe button right now and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are being uploaded to the channel. Also, make sure you go download that free ebook in the description of this video that I told you about. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.